Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more Appa's video. Cooking Appa. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. It's the time of the year where Appa is going to make Pun Choi again. Prosperity bowl. Alright, so let's take a look at the ingredient. Um, let's start from here. So Appa has some broccoli here, sea cucumber, few pieces of uh, soaked shiitake mushroom, few pieces of uh, ocean prawn, and I have some fuzu, and also fish maw. Here we have some pig sinew, the chukyokkan, yeah? some roast pork, some braised abalone, and also radish. Uh, All together, I have 10 ingredients here. Now, I always prefer to use the braised abalone because uh, I can use the braise for my broth later as well. This dish may sound intimidating to a lot of people because outside is selling very expensive, but it is actually not so difficult to make. Only thing is it will take a little bit more time to make it, yeah, to, to prep it and also to blanch the thing. Actually, this dish is all about blanching and combine everything together. That's all. Now you can find many kinds of fish more outside. This is the fried type. Uh, what you need to do is just to soak it until it is softened and then cook it uh, later for about 10-20 minutes. And this is fuzu. Yeah? The fuzu here usually, the one I use, you actually need to uh, soak it for maybe 1-2 to two hours to stop soften it. Then later it may actually take up to 20 minutes for it to be more edible. If not, it can be a little bit chewy. For shiitake mushroom also, you need to soak it for 1-2 hours. This is the very huge ones from Japan. And then, of course, you want to cut it and remove the stem in the middle because this is very uh, chewy. The stem is very chewy, but don't throw away the stem. We are going to use the stem for something later. Now, there are two types of uh, pork sinew that you can find from the market. Uh, the one I use is the frozen one, which is easier to use just to defrost it, then you can use it straight away. There's another type which is the dried type oh, that you need to soak it for three days if I'm not mistaken. So I have one radish here, cut it into thick slices like this. We are going to put it at the bottom of the pot later as foundation. Yeah? As if the prawn, usually I will just remove the leg and also the pointy part. Uh, of course at home, you can actually devein it. Uh, but for the sake of uh, video, this particular video, it will actually look nicer on video if I don't devein. <laughs> so at home, you can buy, uh, go, go ahead and devein your prawn. Right, so first of all, we are going to make the, <clears throat> the soup. And this soup is going to use to blanch almost all of the, most of the ingredients, right? I'm going to um, boil up approximately 2 liters of hot water here. Once it is almost boiling, we can actually put in the radish first. This soup is going to be a combination with few ingredients. Then we have few pieces of ginger. These are the mushroom stems. Don't waste it. We are going to use it to cook the soup. It has very nice flavor. And also, and also I have one chicken thigh and I have actually removed, uh, cut it and also removed the meat. I will be using the meat for my fish maw soup the, uh, tomorrow. Just using the chicken bone here to make the chicken stock. So you are going to bring this to a boil and uh, let it, let it cook for at least about uh, simmer and cook for probably about I would say 15 to 20 minutes before we continue. Because of the chicken bone, you're going to see some scums releasing so you can actually sieve it out. Or you can blanch your chicken first before coming here. Eh? So I have boiled some hot water here and I'm going to put in a bit of salt, a little bit of oil and I put in my fuzu. Fuzu is going to take easily 20 minutes here. Yeah? Especially on the ones I'm using, I know it will take about 20 minutes. Uh, you need to get to know your ingredients. Some fuzu can actually get um, melt. It can actually uh, melt very fast, but this one uh, can tahan cooking. So while waiting for this, uh, let's go and see what my sponsors has offered to you today. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. In home cooking, there's one thing that tends to be forgotten by many people, which is how to avoid cross-contamination when it comes to prepping the food. Take for example, there are some chopping boards 
where you can actually use one side for raw food and another side for cooked food, right? What happens if you have only one chopping board then? So this particular chopping board, you, you should actually uh, cut the veggie first, then only you cut the meat. Avoiding food cross-contamination is actually very important so that it doesn't lead to food poisoning to our family. So what about cutting tools? APA has with me one very interesting product that is going to help us to really seriously prevent food contamination at home. Let me show it to you. So APA has with me the Scotch Premium Kitchen Scissors and also Scotch Titanium Kitchen Scissors. Alright, this is after 20 minutes simmering, yeah, under medium high heat. Uh, our, our broth is basically done, but the radish is not fully cooked yet, as you can see from here. If it is fully cooked, it will be 100% very, very transparent. And you can actually poke something sharp into it. If you can go through, then it is cooked, but I can, I'm sure it is not cooked yet. So I'm just going to leave it there to continue cooking. But meanwhile, I'm going to remove uh, the mushroom stems. chicken bone, the ginger, all right, so leaving whatever inside here that I'm going to eat it later. Let it continue cook the radish and I'm going to put in some other ingredient as well. First of all, my very big shiitake mushroom, this is humongous, humongous. <laughs> so it will take probably uh, 10 to 20 minutes easily for it to be fully cooked. And I have a humongous sea cucumber as well. Be careful with sea cucumber. Some sea cucumber can melt within 15 minutes. This one, I'm sure it can last for 20, 30 minutes, no problem. And I have the pig sinew, the chikyokan. At least have to cook for about 15 minutes as well. Not forgetting our fish mold. And I'm going to season, give it some salt. So let's cook everything inside for another 20 to 30 minutes. Right, this is approximately 18 minutes on my uh, fuzu. I can tell my fuzu is ready. I can actually take it out. Right after I take out the fuzu, I'm going to blanch the prawn. Don't blanch the prawn for too long. It should be kept within three minutes, huh? between two to three minutes. All right, the prawn is ready. This is approximately three, two and a half minutes. Take it out. I still have broccoli, but I'm going to use a fresh pot of water to cook the broccoli so it doesn't have the fishy uh, smell coming from the prawn. Right, so this is after about 25 minutes. Some of the ingredient is already done. I can tell. Um, let me slowly take out one by one. This is the fish maw. Try to group them together so that it's easier for us to arrange later. After the fish maw, I'm going to take out the pig sinew. Whoa, look at how jiggly it is. After that, I'm going to take out my sea cucumber. Oh, this is heavy. Then I'm going to take out my giant shiitake mushroom. Oh, humongous. Look at this. It's almost like a turtle. <laughs> Next thing, we are going to take out the radish. See, it's already transparent. If you're not sure whether it is ready or not, all you need to do is just to use something uh, sharp, poke it through, yeah? Just like I already tried, which is very soft. Then I'm going to blanch the broccoli. Same, uh, same like before, I have put in some salt and also oil, vegetable oil inside the boiling water. Yeah, This will help to keep the greenish of the veggie itself. And we just only need to uh, blanch, blanch, this, blanch this veggie for less than one minute. This is approximately one minute. See how green it is. Going to take it out. Cucumber is huge, so I'm going to cut it 
into smaller pieces. After the radish, we will put one layer of the fuzhu. Ooh, later the fuzhu will really soak out a nice broth. Then we can arrange the rest of the ingredient here. We have the sea cucumber. Ooh, yo. Ooh, yo. Super jellyfish. Then we have the fish maw. We have the shiitake mushroom. We have the pig sinew. I have my abalone. The abalone uh, from the cane, basically you only have to heat it up. Yeah, don't really have to cook it even. I have my prawns. I have some broccoli. Everything must seen overflow. Yeah. Then only your, um, your prosperity can be overflow on this uh, 2023. And the number 10 item, which is my roast pork. Sub chin, sub me. So once you have arranged your pork prosperity bowl nicely, next thing is the final step, which is to make, uh, finalize the sauce, yeah? Thicken the sauce. So this is the broth I used to blanch the ingredient just now. This is approximately about one bowl of it. And I'm going to add, this is the abalone, uh, braised abalone sauce. The one that came out from uh, the cane, yeah. And we are going to bring this to a boil, right. Once this is boiling for a couple of minutes, uh, you can actually have a taste and uh, season it. Uh, adjust to taste using some salt and a little bit of sugar if you want. I already tasted it just now. It tastes really good already. Okay, so next thing I'm going to off the heat, adding in some starch solution, thicken it up a bit. Ah, just nice. Okay, so I'm going to add in the thickened sauce. Right, okay, it is basically done. Uh, Appa will be giving away five prizes to my viewers and followers today. Uh, stand a chance to win one Scotch Detachable Titanium Kitchen Scissors each uh, color at random uh, and one Scotch Antibacterial Premium Kitchen Scissors worth $111.60 <laughs> and for those who want to participate just share one of your favorite Chinese New Year must-have dishes in the comment box below and how Scotch Titanium Kitchen Scissors can help you to prepare the dish and winner will be chosen at random and also for those who are interested to purchase these scissors I will leave purchase online uh, info at the video description this pot here can easily fit at least 5-6 adults easily so if you like my video do share my video on your Facebook to your friends come to Cooking Up our Facebook fan page to click like and follow button Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up our YouTube channel. Gong Si everyone. Bye bye.